What is up, 509 Outdoor fam? It's your boy Eli back with another video. Today's video is going to be talking about all of the new tackle and scents and stuff like that that I brought home from my club, Fishing Frenzy. Basically, what you do is bring in your old gear that you don't use anymore that is in decent condition and sell it. You can even bring in baits and stuff and promote your sponsors. There was also some seminar going on for Navionics, um, spring bass fishing, spring walleye fishing, and just bash fishing in general and how to look at it from the tournament standpoint. So that was a lot of fun. Before we really get into this video, I just want to give a quick thank you to everyone that is part of the Spokane Bass Club. Tyler Brinks, the president, Noah Witten, the treasurer. I just, like, without those guys putting all the effort into this club, this probably wouldn't have happened and I probably wouldn't be a part of it. And I am just looking forward to being a part of this family here in the great 509. So with that being said, we can get into the stuff that I got. All right, to start this off, we're gonna go straight into the hard baits. This is a Reaction Strike 4-inch Fast Fall Swim Bait. This thing has four sections, one very, very sharp hook, and a very solid body frame. I cannot wait to fish this for some post-spawn and pre-spawn largemouth. The other really cool company that I am going to try out now is Livingston Lures. I picked up three of these today. This is a spring craw color, this is a purple sea shad color, and this is a Tennessee shad color. All of them in the 10 foot depth diving series have red hooks in the front, black ones in the back. The other one I picked up, which is a going to be a fantastic bait, and I plan on fishing this thing non-stop later this year, is the Dive Master 14. One of the lakes that I fish all the time, which is probably my all-time favorite lake. It produces quality, and baby bass has always been the go-to color on that lake. For some reason, they just key in on the smaller. These next ones are hooks and weights, and they make something very awesome. These right here are 5 16 ounce shaky heads from Thrash Co. Baits. I will leave his Facebook and his Instagram down below. The other ones were swing heads from him in a half ounce. Thrash Co. Baits, they powder coat theirs, their, um, all their weights on their hooks, so that way if you spike them on the cement, they do not chip whatsoever, which means you can fish all day long, hitting rocks, docks, wood, whatever you're fishing, and the paint will still be there like it was in the first cast, which is very awesome. He only uses Gamagatsus, which means they're a little bit more expensive, however, they work and the hooks don't. Some other things I picked up are Freedom Live Action Hybrid Jigs. These are a football head. They're called the Zodiacs. These ones are called the Stealth. These are like a swim bait kind of jig head. And they all, this one has three aught hooks and this one has five aught hooks. These things are going to be awesome and I'm glad I picked them up. Alrighty, so Strike King is a big ball player in my fishing game. I've always used Strike King. I've always liked Strike King, I have nothing against them. And today, while I was there, I saw this perch poppin' frog sitting in a bin. And I told the guy running that booth, if it was still there in an hour, I'd be picking it up. Two and a half hours later, it was still there, so I picked this bad boy up for four dollars. I can't beat that. I also picked up some Space Monkeys from the Rage Tail series. These things are great. Put on trailers on the back of jigs, Texas rig them. Um, Flip them, pitch them, whatever you want to do. These things are great. Can't forget the Mimic Minnows. I picked up some Berkeley Havoc baits today, like this Boss Dog and Green Pumpkin Black flavor. Color, not the flavor. I don't know why I said, but look at that. The other one I picked up is a Money Maker. These things are goofy looking. However, they work, so that's not, whatever it looks like, don't care if it works. These other ones are called the Beat Shads. They are like a swim bait, but not. It's kind of weird. They are a rib worm with a paddle tail. They are very soft and they have a lot of action on a slow retrieve. Also picked up some sick fish today in like a pearl color. I love fishing soft body swim baits, so that's the reason I picked these bad boys up. Have you guys ever heard of Damiki baits? These, this is the Cutter 5. This is a 10 pack that I picked up today. I guess they call it baby bass, but it looks like a like a light green watermelon. Sheer. The other ones I picked up were the Hydra Evolutions. These are the original green pumpkins. They are a goofy looking 
goofy looking hula grub, twin tails, and they got some like goofy ball things on the end of the front part of the bait. The other ones I picked up were the, the Finesse Mickeys. These little pink guys are cool looking. Can't wait to fish them. Like these are the Ox Blood Red color, which they're like a slight pink. Um, looking forward to fishing those. Um, I'm not very good at the drop shot. However, I try and fish it all the time just so I can get better at it. Like anything, practice makes perfect. Yum baits because they are fairly inexpensive and they just catch fish. So I picked up some two and a half inch money minnows today. Look at that color. Those things are small. The other ones I picked up were some craw poppies and a watermelon red flake. I've never fished a craw poppy, so I figured I'd give it a shot. And I picked some up and I was looking at them and feeling them and they feel really, really nice. There's a little bit of salt I in this I picked up bag. some Zoom finesse worms. I can only ever find these in the watermelon red flake, but I found them in the Mardi Gras color. 20 pack, and I picked it up for a dollar. You cannot beat that. I love fishing these things. I wacky rig them, I drop shot them, I Texas rig them. I even skip docks weightless with them and they just flat out catch fish. I am super stoked that I found them in another color. Also picked up a bag of Shadows. These are the foreign shadows from Bass Pro Shop. This is a watermelon red flake. Mismo Bait Company. No fishing. These are just like the Zoom, Zoom finesse worms I was just showing you guys. However, these ones are black and blue with a lot of salt. I mean, look at that. That is super salty. Um, these are called the five-inch doodle worms from Mismo Baits. Um, I've never fished Mismo Baits, um, but I saw the same style as the finesse worms from zoom and it was in a different color and they're salted this time on the inside and the outside and i figured what the heck might as well try it out another one i picked up is salt injected hard nose um finesse worms from man's baits these things are crazy i guess you squeeze the nose and they don't rip and great for nose hooking them on a drop shot they are the five inch ones and they smell delicious Power Team Lures. I've never really heard of them. Um, I picked these suckers up today. Huh. They got a thicker body and they're all ribbed. And that is cool looking. I don't know. These are like in green. That is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I did not take a camera to the seminar. However, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me talking about all the stuff I gathered and hopefully you will recognize it later this year when it's all in my videos getting wet. Thanks for watching 509 Outdoors. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button and smash the like button on this video.